All right, so this is going to be my traditional lipstick declutter. Um, right now I have everything kind of in this big pile. And I think I'm gonna do in this video my traditional lipsticks and my lip liners. I feel like this will probably be a little too long to do my like liquid lipstick, so that'll have to be done in a separate video. But for now, I think I'm just gonna try to uh, separate these out. I think actually, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all of my MAC lipsticks because I know I have a lot of those. So I'm just gonna pull all of those and then we'll sort through all of those before going through kind of all the other brands. So yeah, let's start doing that. Okay, so I think that these are all of my MAC lipsticks. But yeah, anything that is getting decluttered is gonna go in this box right here. So yeah, let's just get started with this. Um, this one can definitely go. I'm not really a big fan of like lighter purple colors. Rebel. Yeah, I kind of wish that this one like showed up like on the skin, how it looks in the tube because I'd like that color a lot more. We'll get rid of that. Sending love can stay, touch. I think I have two touches. So I'm gonna kind of set this to the side so I can find that other one. Kind of sexy, I don't think I liked. Yeah, that's kind of like a light kind of pinky peach color. That can go. This, it's like a purple kind of blue. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is Evening Rendezvous. Let's see how this one looks. Um, See like swatched, I don't really like this color, but I know that I've worn it before and I did like it then. And I also think I bought this like the first time I went to New York. So it kind of has some like sentimental value to me. So I may hold on to that. I'm going to put this into like a maybe pile and I'll figure out what I want to do with that later. All of these Rocky Horror ones are gonna stay, as are these Marilyn Monroe ones. Captive. Let's see how that looks. Eh, I don't really like that color. That can go. This is an amplified cream. Oh yeah, no. I don't really like kind of dark colors like this when they're not in a matte formula. So like, this one's done a go, just because I feel like they kind of get everywhere. And Cold Hard Cash. How do I feel about this one? Um, I don't really know about that one. It's kind of gray, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Then we have that can stay. This is, oh no. That's a, okay, never mind. Um, sis, I'm going to put in a maybe pile. I feel like that's a little light, but we shall see. Um, so yeah, this is another like amplified kind of deep ready purple color. I'm going to get rid of, um, taupe. I'm going to keep that one's going to stay. What color is this? Um, let me swatch this one. Hey, that's nice, kind of warm toned, nudie color. This is Viva Glam Rihanna. 
like it's her Viva Glam collab. Um, but it's a frost shade, so I'm like never gonna wear this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. That can stay. All of my other kind of Rihanna lipsticks are gonna stay though. Um, Viva Glam 2, Charlotte Oxblood can both stay. Whirl can stay. Persistence. Blankety, I feel like might be too light for me, so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Chestnut is like a brown. I really, I really don't like like dark browns like this on myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This one, I can't see the name. This is, oh, this is like that really dark green that I really like. Um, Rihanna can stay. Down. All of those can stay. What have we got here? Mocha. Do I like mocha? Um, no, that one can go. Capricious is like actually that might be okay. I see that one. Eh, oh, it's a luster. I don't, yeah, that can go. Goddess of the Sea. I feel like this is also like, yeah, it's kind of like that purpley tone that I really don't like. What else have we got here? Cosplay. What's this look like? Yeah, I like that shade. Um. Yeah, that one can stay. This Viva Glam Nikki, I kind of want to keep just because it's like a Nicki Minaj thing, but I don't know. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. Then we have Salon Rouge can stay. Red Racer. It's like a little too bright of a red for me. That can go. Oh, this is the other touch, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So... I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep this one. Ooh. So that's another green shade. This is from like this past holiday collection. This is like really pretty like matte red. I'm gonna keep that one. That one can stay. That can stay. Say. Twig, I believe I is too pink for me. Yeah, that's much too pink for my liking, so that can go. It's Marilyn lipstick. Alright. This one can stay. That can. Smoke purple. Yeah, that's good. Ruby Woo is definitely staying. That's like my second or third tube of that one. Rocky Horror can stay. This exclusive event. What's this look like? Um, that's, first of all, a horrible swatch. Well, it's kind of gray. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's like gray. Um, that's much too pink. Viva Glam, Ariana can stay. Um, definitely those three can stay. Ooh, Matt Royal. Yeah, I'm never ever going to use this, so that can go. Um, let's see, that can stay. Velvet Teddy's definitely staying. Cosmo, I think is too big. Yeah, that's far too pink for my liking. That can go mystical. Let me see what you look like. Ooh, that's a little too pink. Um, I don't know about that one. We'll put that one in the maybe. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate kind of all the other ones by brand, and then we'll go through and to get which one of those I want to keep and which ones I don't.
Okay, so it looks like I missed um, this MAC lipstick, but yeah, this really isn't a color that I'm ever gonna wear, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so this one I didn't like. This one looks like it has shimmer in it. Yeah, so then I'm gonna get rid of both of these. Then we have two L'Oreal ones. This one's a brown kind of color. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear that, so that can go. This one is new, and I think this should be a good color. Yeah, so that one can stay. Then we have three Revlon ones. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep all of these. Let me just swatch this one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna keep all three of these. And then I have my Milani ones. And I'm going to keep all four of those. Next, I'm gonna go, oh, looks like I have another L'Oreal one. And, ooh, that one got a little dinged up, but great color, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have these kind of uh, Maybelline ones. This is in the shade Gone Grage. I don't like that. That can go. We have Mauve It, which I feel like it's going to be pink. Yeah, no. Not a fan of that. Have this one in Toasted Truffle. Ooh, I'm going to get rid of that one. It's like, actually, I don't know. I'll put that one in the maybe pile. Then we have Crazy for Coffee. Let's watch that one there. That looks all right to me. I'll keep that one. Um, that's a little light, but I think, I think I've worn it before and I think I like that, so I'll keep that one. This is Touchable Taupe. Um, you yeah, know, that's like gray. This, yeah, I'll get rid of that one. Then we have Untainted Spice, which I'll swatch over here. That's like a kind of plummy brown, and I like those. Um, we have Burgundy Blush. I'll swatch that there. Yeah, we'll keep that one. And this one. You have to like swatch all of these because they're kind of brownie. Oh, that's like pink. That's very weird. We're gonna get rid of that one. Then we have this one called raw chocolate, which does not fade well. Um, actually, that's actually I kind of like that color, so we'll keep that one. Next, we're gonna go through these kind of like stick ones. I want to pick out the ones that aren't ColourPop first. And we'll go through kind of all the ColourPop ones. So this NARS lip pencil and Rakugan can go. This is, I believe, a Sonia Kashuk one, and that can stay. Um, this Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick will stay, as will this double-ended, um, actually, what is this? Latte? Yeah, so this double-ended kind of bite lipstick can stay. I actually probably should put that with my bite ones, but whatever okay now we're gonna go through all of these color pop lippy pencils lippy sticks what are these yeah lippy sticks okay um i'm just kind of trying to see all the colors at once right now okay so i'm gonna do this through this first just kind of by looking and like Pulling out the colors I know I won't like, and then we'll go in a little bit more in depth. So I think maybe I should do this by pulling out the colors I do like. So I like Hollywood Boulevard, I like Pillow Top. Um, I don't like Razor, so that one can go. I don't like Lumiere, that can go. I do want to keep Ellery. I don't need this one in too sexy. Um, let's see. Um, I'll 
keep Baywatch and Cammy. I'll keep only you. Um, I'll keep Hotline. Let me swatch this one in Parker. Um, I'll swatch it there. Yeah, I can get rid of that one. Can I? Yeah, I'll get. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that one. Um, I have four left. They're like purples and reds. So let's start with these kind of purpley shades. This is the shade 2-2. Two -two. I'm gonna swatch up here. I'll do that versus this one in Pack Pack. Strange name, but okay. And those are the two kind of at the top there. Um, I kind of like them both, so I think I'm gonna keep both of those. Then let's do these reds. This is in Trust Me. There's a matte X shade. Swatch that there. Ooh, that's a little bright. And this is in Weekender. Um, those are literally like the same color. And I don't think I like either of them. So we'll get rid of both of those. So then these are all of the color pop ones we're gonna keep. Okay, uh, next we'll go to NARS. I have three NARS. So this first one is in Anita, which I'm gonna keep mostly because it's in gold packaging, but I actually do like this color. And then we have Anna, which is like a pink color. And we have Barbara, which is more of a nude. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Barbara and get rid of Anna. We have some Urban Decay ones. I know that these three and kind of the special packaging I like, so I'm gonna keep those. And then these, I'm just kind of go by color. Those are fine. What's Hideaway look like? Yeah, I think I like that one. So I'll put these two. Um, those two are fine. Apply Blood Crisis is fine. Oblivion is like, well, I can't even get this open. There it is. Um, it's like very, very light, like much too light for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Uh-oh. Um, Perversion, which is a black. And this one is a sheer shimmer, it says. And that's very pink. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one as well. Then we have these three from, what brand is this? Um, I can't think of the brand name. But it's that one brand that they sell at Ulta who like kind of rips off higher end brands. You know the one I'm talking about. But I actually do like all three of these colors. They are recommended by Makeup by Tammy, who I love. Um, and these are actually really great colors, especially for my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Then we have some ColourPop ones. I think I did like a pretty good job when I was selecting these. And yeah, I like all of these shades. So I'm going to keep all of those. And I'm missing one of these smash bottles. Um, I'm missing one of these. I know it exists. Probably over here somewhere. Yep, it is. Okay, cool. So um, all three of the or four of these smash bottles ones, uh, I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these. Then we have some Kat Von D. So we have Lolita in the old version. 
Okay, so wait. I mean, first, let me pick out the new ones I have. So, bow and arrow is the new formula. I think Mercy's the old one. Cathedral. I don't know. Cathedral's the old one. Um, Prayer's the old one. Ludwig is the new one. Okay. So, these are all kind of the older formula. And so, I kind of want to keep like these darker ones, but I want to get rid of kind of Cathedral and. Lolita, which I can buy in the new formula, which I think I'd prefer. Um, so this is the shade Prayer, and I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Then, where's the other one? Mercy, which has Shimmer in it. So this one I'm actually going to get rid of. And then we have... Lolita and Cathedral. I actually might keep Cathedral and just have it in both formulas. Um, no, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. And Lolita, just watch there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of that one too. All right. Moving on, we're gonna do our bite beauty lipsticks so this is a shade Inoki I don't know this is like a whole like collection um, and I really don't know why I bought any of these so these four are part of a connection they're like nude browns but they're like the most hideous colors so I'm going to oh, wait I might keep this one what's this one look like I lied. I'm not keeping that one. Um, Porcini. And yeah, so all of those can go. And then these other two bite lipsticks in Shiraz and Molasses. I'm going to keep these two. Then, uh oh. Runaway Urban Decay one that I'm going to keep. And then I'm also going to keep all three of these ABH lipsticks because I really like their kind of matte formula. These two are from Dose of Colors. They're from the Desi and Katie line. And I'm going to keep these. Then we have all of my YSL lipsticks. And these, I think, kind of need to be gone through. So this is a shade 06. Um, I don't know what I was thinking with this one. That's gonna go. And we have, uh oh, we have the shade 70, which in that can go too. Yeah. Um, we have the shade 10, which is, I don't know what. I was thinking with all of these colors, that can go. And then we have 53. This one I know I like, and this one's gonna stay. Okay. And then we have these kind of bullet ones. This is a shade number three. I like this one. This is 47 I like. Nine, I think, is the one that was, yeah, way too pink for my liking. So that one can go. And then, are you also nine? 44 can stay. This also says nine, but that's a different color. So that one's all right. I can keep that one. And finishing us off is just kind of like a bunch of, like, random lipsticks. So I have a couple for Melt. Um, this one from, I want to say it's Lancome. Is it Lancome or is it Estee Lauder? It's not telling me. I don't know. I think it's Lancome. Um, oh yeah, it says it right here. Ha, I'm an idiot. Okay. But yeah, so this one from Lancome is definitely going to stay. Also, the packaging of this is just so cool. Like, you press down this button and then it pops out at the bottom. I love it. Um, so we have these three melt lipsticks. This is in Cherried. 
I'm really not a fan of like the formula of their lipsticks. Like they're very, like very dry and they kind of like tug like very hard at the lips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all three of these. And then this one, this is from Estee Lauder. Yeah, um, I'm gonna keep this one. And I'm also gonna keep these two little like samples of Makeup Forever. One's like one of their cream formulas and one's their matte formula. And I'm just gonna keep these, just kinda try it out, see how I like the formulas. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly kind of go through all of my lip liners and then I'll kind of finish out the video showing you me kind of how I'm gonna store all of my lipsticks and lip liners. So, um, I know that I can get rid of cherries from that. So for the most part, I really only use like brown liners. So anything that's like not brown or like maybe red I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of um, what's this look like yep that's two lights is this a black lip liner oh yeah that kind of. um it's fine that one can go What is this? This is Espresso Can Stay. Mary. Yes. Um, yes. Let's see. Soar can definitely go. I think I dropped this one. Chestnut Can Stay. Is this Court K? Yeah, that's fine. That can go. Uh, these two. Who can stay? Let me see how this looks on my skin. Uh, yeah, that can stay. Um, that's good. Let me see how this one looks. Uh, that can stay, yeah. Um, all right. So far, so good. This Rihanna one can stay. I have a hair in my hand. Okay, that can stay. That's good. Freedom is like a blue liner and that can go. This little one can stay. Um, let me swatch this one in brown sugar. That's like right on the cusp of my skin tone, um, but I'll keep it for now. Night Moth, and these two from Urban Cake and Stay. All right, so this is everything I'm getting rid of um, for in terms of my traditional lipsticks. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm definitely keeping more than I'm giving away, but that was to be expected. So now I'll just kind of get my storage for these and I'll show you how I'm gonna store these. All right, so I have all of my lip liners here. I'm just gonna kind of put it in one of these pockets on the side of this like lipstick tower. So, okay, there we go. Okay, so all of my lip liners there and I'm just gonna take all of these ColourPop things and put them in this side and that works just fine i don't know what i'm going to do with this side yet but we'll figure that out next i'm going to start filling in kind of the lipsticks and i think i'm going to try to do one side all mac hoping that i don't have too many mac lipsticks and then i'll do this side kind of everything else I think I'm gonna start high end to kind of lower end. So that means I'm gonna start with my YSL lipsticks. So 
Okay, so these I'm gonna put in here. So those are all of my drugstore lipsticks done. Next, we just have all of the MAC ones. We are going to try our darndest to do these by color. All right, so we were able to fit all of my lipsticks into this tower and this small one. And we actually have like some extra room to spare here. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, remember to like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Uh, my next declutter will be my liquid lipsticks and my lip glosses. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, bye.